Hello, I'm going to show you how to import medium-sized data into MySQL using the load command. First, we will try to import the file using the wizard, just to compare the runtime. And then we need to first create a table that we can import uh, the data to. Because uh, unlike the wizard, the load command does not automatically create a, a table for the data file. Then we will specify the local in file system variable to allow uh, local in files, which means that we can uh, choose client locations uh, to upload data to the server. This needs to be done on server and client. Then we are ready to load. We will use the load data local in file command for this, so we can use any uh, file location. And then we will check uh, the data import. Okay, let's get to it. So what we want to do is to import such a file into a table here on MySQL. So I have downloaded some files here and we have one file um, that we will import. First using the wizard just to compare. So let's create schema now we refresh there it is now with the wizard we can the table data import wizard can import the file. And because it's not too large, this will only take a minute or so. I'll drag and drop. Okay. Open. Now, as you see, the wizard will create a new table. It automatically infers the columns from the file headers. So we have four columns here, user ID, movie ID, rating and timestamp. Also the data types have been correctly inferred from the data. Okay, everything to, seems to be ready. So next we import. And now you see the problem with the uh, table data import wizard. The file is only three megabytes in size, as you see here. No, actually just 2.4 megabytes. And still it takes over a minute. So let's wait. And in the meantime, we can start um, with the load command. So the next step is to create a table that we can import the file into. So if we don't use the wizard, uh, we need to indicate the table structure ourselves. And this is done with the create table command. So we create a table rating small and now in a comma separated list, we can indicate all the columns that go into this table. So we have um, four columns. However, it's easy to check the file in the terminal. I just go to my folder. And there I use head. Now I see I have user ID, movie ID, rating and timestamp because this file has a header column. Now for MySQL I also need to indicate the data types. So user ID is an integer, movie ID is an integer. Rating is a decimal number
and the timestamp is a bit true. Okay. Now, if I use the semicolons correctly, then I can just place the cursor and use this button here, execute the statement under the keyboard cursor. Voila. No database selected. Okay. So just double click on the database and it should work. Okay, so then let's try use the movies DB. Okay, now let's try again. It already exists because the table data import wizard has created one. Okay, let's refresh. Uh huh. Oh, okay, let's call it create table rating small two. There we go. The table data import wizard is still running. Show logs. Still importing. Okay, so we're already done with the second step, while the first step is still ongoing. So we can continue in the meantime. So a faster way to load this file is using the local in file command together with load. So load data local in file. For this, we need to set the local in file option on the server and the client. I'm going to show you how to do this. So on the server, we get, can just set a, a system variable. We can check this variable using show variables like local in file. We need quotes. Okay, it's on. Now we can set this variable using set global we can turn it off. We set it to zero. Check again. Now it's off. Okay. We need to turn it on. To load data to load local in files okay set global local in file equals one there you go now uh, we also need to set this um, on the client as a client we use mysql workbench so we go back to the connection and let's just close the connection uh, this is my local connection here and with the right click click we can edit connection and here we have an advanced tab and here i can put certain connection parameters and one of them is this one opt local in file equals one so you need to add this line into this window here and then I also allow the client to upload local in files. Okay, so I have done this already. Let's close and connect again. Here we go. So we have completed the third step. Now in the meantime, the wizard has finished. Let's check. Okay, next, I've imported 100,004 rows. It took 335 seconds, <clears throat> which is a long time for three megabytes.
Now let's check. Okay, rating small. Has been loaded. Let's count the number of records in the, in the table. Okay, 100,004 records. Okay. Now let's try the same thing with the load command. We're going to import into the second table, which is at the moment empty. The syntax is load data local in file. Why local in file? Well, if you omit local, it means you're on the server machine and import um, on the server from a file on the server system. And this will only work if you indicate a specific folder. So if you use local in file, it means you take a, a file from the client machine and upload it to the server and it will work from any uh, local folder or file. So you're more flexible and also it will work in a client server setting. Now in this setting here, I work on the same system. I have the client and the server on the same system. Uh, however, this will with local in file command, it will work in any setting. So in a development setting where we have the server on the client machine and also in a production setting where the server is located remotely in the network. So you use load data local in file and now I indicate this in file. Here we go. I copy a path. Now I need to indicate the table to copy it into, into Now it's a comma separated file, so I indicate here also the, um, the value separator. Just comma. And we have a header row, so we ignore one row. And I think the syntax is into table. Yes. Okay. Now let's try this. Wow, okay, we're done already. Half a second. Let's check. Now we count the number of records in the second table. Okay, 100,000 records loaded in half a second compared to 335 seconds using the table data import wizard. So there you go. We have specified the load command and run it. We've noted the runtime. We've checked the data import. And this is how you import medium-sized data into MySQL. So this will scale up to uh, hundreds of gigabytes if, you, um, if you're patient enough to wait a few hours. So thank you very much and goodbye.